good morning students in this class today we will see about audio visual aids audio visual aids or instrumental aids it's a very important so this class we will see how you will make an audio visual aids what is the definition what is the importance of audio visual aids we'll see why it is important why you have to learn for whom it is important so it is all important for the student teacher as well as the teacher to pre prepare the appropriate avids either the msc nursing or the bsc nursing or the gnm students to show your practice teaching or to clinical presentation you must have a av or to meet with the patients your patients you are giving you have to select appropriately so this topic is very very important what is av aids audio visual aids is an aid is an instrumental device in which the message can be heard as well as seen is called the audio visual aids heard as well as the seen there is a one chinese proverb saying that if i hear i forget if i see i remember if i do i know this is a beautiful proverb that's why still i remember the demonstration rather than the teacher who took a class for me clear or not so the audio visual aids if you select seeing will be 87 percentage hearing 0.7 percentage order 0.3 touch 0.2 taste 0.1 why does we need what is the importance of this audio visual aids what is the need it improve the teaching make the teaching is interesting it stimulate the curiosity when i enter the class make one balloon full of water students are very curious why there is a balloon why it is what madam is going to do so it is will be quickening phase of learning so immediately they will be learning provide the active participation with their curiosity increase their attention to stimulate their thinking to motivate the action to give the variety of learning experience to avoid the monotony simply every time going and speaking something and coming out increase the vocabulary development clear or not so this is the need or the importance of avids where this avids are available is the avids are ready made available i will teach you how you have to prepare the preparation of avids or else also some of the avids are available yes of course it is available by the government the government is supplying to the primary health care center sub centers right or not you might have seen the governmental posters central and state government are providing some of the educational institutions they are preparing their own audio visual aids puppets charts posters their own educational cd software soft skill they are now including professional organizations ngos non governmental organization voluntary health organization also it is commercially will be available okay commercial available one is not acceptable for the nursing students we teachers are expecting you to prepare the avids so you have to follow some of the principles what is the principles the principles of selection how do you select the avids everything you have to remember selection according to the educational objectives and selection according to the physical condition is it good or not i am bringing one av aid of the ohp overhead projector but physical condition it's not working the light is problem what is the use so the principles of response principles of evaluation principles of presentation you can able to principles of preparation you could able to prepare it you could pre preserve it so these are all the principles you have to remember what are all the criteria so while remembering the principle some of the criteria so you have to put into your mind what is that your ava should be easy to understand so no full no so many letters 
it should be simple and direct easy to handle not 10 people carrying your aviator and keeping the it is so it must be cost effective right then the letter should be neat and legible clear color should be good the good color has to use it should be accurate it should be good working condition so you have to follow some criteria also you can follow reusability you can be able to preserve it some of the things if you prepare it well in advance clear or not so while following the principles you have to remember the criteria clear or not so how will you prepare it we'll see before what is the aviates what is the classification of audio visual aids how this audio visual aids has been classified it is classified as the audio aid then it is classified as next classification is a projected aid non projected aid audio visual aids and activity aids all are having its own important radio for example you have to remember some question is coming for you five marks write about the radio so what do you write first an introduction radio is one of the important audio visual aids widely used it's used for the mass media communication definition of radio will be the next next heading the radio is a device which is made up of by the electronic device right or not a yeah, electronic and electrical device made by this one to to get the news and the song and to get the information from the government right or not you can write the next types of radio what all the radio portable radio Elect right or not now the mobile phone are having a radio you can write it also clear what is the characteristic of a radio its authenticity its authenticated one by the government mostly the news as you are getting right or not reproducibility cannot be possible in radio but reliability is there validity in the information so some of the characteristics you write then what is the advantages of using the radio so it will be easy to carry very cheap less consumption what is the limitation if there is a power problem you have to buy a battery you have to use correct or not this is an example i tell you if it is five mark coming classification of audio visual aids just you write the classification audio aid visual aid audio visual aids projector visual aid is nothing but this is a visual aid this visual aid is a projected aid or non projected aid then both are the audio visual aids then will be activity aid separate question also will be coming you have to remember example i told you radio so introduction types of radio characteristic of a radio advantages of radio right or not limitation of radio for example maps or the posters you have to write the definition you have to write the criteria for selection of poster or criteria for uh, writing the poster only one concept in the poster only few color should be written when you are selecting the poster your teaching content should not turn in any other this one it should be unique it should not be repeatedly told in using another aviates or like a chalkboard or whatever the board may be cannot be correct or not so the television short notes on television so you write an introduction television is a mass media communication even the poorer of the poor people also having a television in the world it's like this one then what is the characteristics of a television how what is the types of television led L, whatever this one now the television can be seen in our mobile phone there's a technology right or not then what is the characteristics of the television you can make it so what is the advantages and limitation of the television same way electrical power so if they are asking short notes on models or mock up models models 
it's coming so introduction about model what is that it is like a activity aid under the audio video visual audio visual aids it's coming as a activity aid so what is called model the model will be the different types of models specimen mock up clay model right or not or slime now nowadays children are making with the slime the different models the artificial clay is available to make the model so what is how you will prepare method of preparation for preparing the model how do you prepare it first you understand the educational objective what do you want to make it placenta model how you want to make it so specimen also you can bring it that's also a kind of model short notes on role play they'll ask what is called role play role play is a spontaneous acting out of something spontaneously social drama role play right or not so this is the activity you will act like a uh, drunker to the community setup to create an awareness doing an activity going to the museum is an activity aid flash cards short notes flip cards you make a flash card to go viral it become a flip card short notes on the <clears throat> non projected aid you can write how to prepare what is the principle should be followed in a non projected aid clear or not only one concept you have to develop you want to make a flip card identify who is your listener small group how many numbers what is the size 9 and 11 will be the small group 22 and 24 will be the larger group what are the types of flash cards what is the pre request for preparing your flash cards short pencil colors cutting paper content so what are all the things so if it is coming a single single question also you develop the answer by the introduction what are all the types what are all the methods how to prepare it pre request for preparation what is the advantages what is the limitation of avids clear or not in one above above all you have to consider some of the factors which is influencing in selection of avids you have to select the avid as i told you when is a flash card is it for the single person or it's a multiple person so you have to consider the size if various person it will not be visible for the last row then objective of the program you always you have to influence the nature of the audience if the children is your audience it will be better to give the puppet show rather showing the poster and english letters you can depict some drama select an av aid the kindergarten children the drama and the with the puppets various puppets or the dance or some activity will be better according to their age and the interest of the children you can attract the children those cost effectiveness if i make a puppet that will be cost effective i can reuse it we make a chart is there the place where i can preserve this chart rather than if i use a thermocol every time i have destruction also problem pollution is another problem so avoid using it the nature of subject matter you prepare the this one and the availability whether this avids are available something then you have to another important factor is a working condition all the way you will be carrying the avids and coming finally if it is not working it's a great disappointment for the audience clear or not yes now finally the important question will be coming for the msc nursing students for the bsc and gnm they will be asking classify the avids either you can classify those or the yet gale cone of experience you can put it as yet gale yet gale cone of experience will be starting with the blackboard to the activity aid the cone will be written clear or not either you write it or classification of avids will be usually coming for the bsc and gnm students 
what about the msc students the msc students are the future teacher so you have to prepare the, this one this is a common question will be coming for the 10 mark question the teachers role in preparation of audio visual aids it has got the four phases phase one is the planning phase phase two is the preparation phase phase three is the presentation phase phase four is the evaluation phase what is called the planning phase first is the planning phase you have to organize the content how do you organize the content first you have to define the objectives understand what is the learning objectives the learning objectives accordingly you have to prepare it so arrange the simple to complex then purposeful to update then one concept at a time you may explain so organize the content then selection of ABAs after you organize the content in a sequential order from which one is a suitable AVA is necessary and select the AVA keeping something in your mind that age what is your audience number number how many audience are there IQ level and the portability which you cut able to portable and the accuracy and working condition so this is the planning phase what is the second phase considering that the age of the children objectives then you prepare it how do you prepare it procurement management and pretest you select the material which is a very cheap either the chart cost effective color papers you buy it locally available you take it then manage how do you manage easy to understand legible your handwriting should be clear and your handwriting should be concise while preparing and managing then will be pretest once you hold the chart or hold it and check it whether the checkability any any problem is there anything which you are not understand unambiguity you remove it better not to show it then the phase 3 is the presentation once you have pre-tested by yourself then you do the presentation right or not the presentation it should be in a sequence order the stress important point stress nothing but reinforce the important point then display only one aid at a time and stand beside you don't stand in front of audio visual aids you side use always the pointer speak clearly legibly pronounce the word in a very good manner the presentation is very important though you clearly prepare the aviates if you did not present it well many times students are prepare it they forget to show to the student they do not know when to give it they will tell ma'am I prepared the aviate but actually with the tension and stress I forgot it so it is very important all the phases are very important so planning phase also important preparation phase you prepare which you are not explaining in the blackboard prepare it very legible handwriting and present it in a nice manner the fourth phase is called the evaluation evaluation is the process by which to find out whether the goal is achieved or not right or not how do you understand my goal is achieved or not after my course class I will be asking a question if the two things will be coming one is answer is coming one may not be coming so it's a positive feedback if answer come no answer coming it is a negative feedback nothing to worry about it if a positive feedback continue using the aviates your class and aviates are very useful if there is negative feedback is coming replan with a different AVA and repeat and rehearse and repeat replan rehearse and repeat and redo that will be best so this is the maximum question will be coming what is the teacher's role in preparation of this AVA so in this class we have seen about what is the definition of AVA what is the principles of AVA what is the sources of AVA what is the principles what is the purpose and the need for the need and the importance of AVAs and we have seen the principles of AVAs what are all the criteria for selection of audiovisual aids 
and we have seen about what is the classification of ABAs. Classification also you can write and Edgale goal of experience. Edgale uh, experience also uh, ABAs also you can write in a cone of experience. You can write it. And you are thorough and you are ready to write even a single 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 things they are asking you also. You write an introduction or the type or variety. How to prepare method of preparation. And uh, what is the importance of this AVH or uses of AVH? What is the limitation of AVH? That you can five six heading you learn how to key words you remember in that. Clear or not? Then factors like you have to remember what are all the factors influencing selection of AVH? Who is your audience? What is their age? What is their interest? If you are going to the community, small kids you are going, do the puppet or drama activity will be better. If you are a teacher, student teacher, BSc nursing, practice teaching teachers, how you prepare the ABA? Please follow these phases to prepare your ABA. Thank you. Have a nice day.